my sweet friends welcome to the art cake experience channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a Minnie mouse cake topper so we're going to start with the face i'm going to use a round styrofoam bowl and i'm going to be creating the features of Minnie with some white uh, modeling paste underneath the um, skin tone that we're going to use to cover it that way you will have all the features and then we're gonna cover it just stay tuned and watch how i make so i start with a round um styrofoam bowl and i'm going i needed some um sugar paste or this is modeling paste actually and i made like i roll it like in a big uh thick uh, sausage shape what i'm going to do now i'm going to divide actually the bowl has these uh lines here that divided the balls in half. So I'm going to use the down half of the ball. I'm gonna wet this and I'm just going to add a big piece of modeling paste. This is big, but this will give me enough room to start modeling what I want. Okay, so once I have this, what I'm going to do is using my dressing tool, I'm going to create, first of all, I'm going to measure more or less where the mouth is going to be. It's going to be around here, right? So I'm going to open this. Sorry if I'm moving this a little bit. Moving the camera. Okay. Now, with the part that looks like a spoon, I'm just going to pressed and open her mouth sorry about that again so what i'm doing right now is i'm just creating the features for mini and now i'm going to push the nose up here and bring it here to the middle right let me just push more paste here to the front I'm going to put this here. Just blend this here, right? This is not the final face you will see. This is like creating a skeleton for the face, right? I'm going to set it to dry. I'm going to leave it to dry for a little bit. And, and now we're going to start working on the face. Okay. The first part of the face. Just round this more, more. And there you go. This is like the skeleton for minimal. Okay, so now that this uh, skeleton part is done, and this could work perfectly for a Mickey Mouse as well, I, ex I rolled out uh some piece a little piece of um skin tone light skin tone sugar paste i'm going to wet the whole skeleton that we made right and now i'm going to we just take some excess of water here because we don't want to be too wet and now i'm just going to cover this to create her face that way you don't have any seams you know like things sticking, parts sticking together. And we're gonna push this to the back because the back is going to be covered with black sugar paste. We're gonna get to that in a moment. So very carefully, just start pushing back and blending this, right? Don't work much in the features right now. We're gonna be doing that in a minute. This is a work of patience, but it looks very nice because that what I don't like, I don't like to see these seams here that you just stick a little piece on top of another one. If you're using a, a good modeling paste or modeling chocolate, you can blend this and uh, you can do it in a different way. But I figured out how to use this or how to make it this way when I didn't have access to different kinds of materials, but sugar paste. 
and that's why I start doing it like that. So I'm just gonna push this back and I'm gonna cut the excess and we're gonna start working on the feet. Okay, so now it is all covered. As you can see, there's no seams, but we have all the texture and the skeleton for Minnie's mouth and cheeks, right? So for her eyes, I'm just trying to look at a design. I'm going to start with two small dots because I just want to know the placements of her eyes. They're around here. Good. And now I'm just going to start opening up the eyes a little bit more with a round tool. out a thin piece of black sugar paste this is the part that is a little bit tricky just take a deep breath and try to do it very calmly so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to more or less mark the center where you know that she has uh, this curved here right in this little like big in here like a V shape so I'm just gonna mark where this V shape will go now I'm looking at the face I'm gonna put it here I'm going to make a hard shape cut trying to make it as even as possible if you do not have the expertise to do this like this, just do it please first on a piece of paper and then cut it on the sugar paste, right? But I'm feeling I'm feeling adventurous today, doing everything by hand. Okay, good. So now that this this is what's going to be in front of her head. So I'm just going to lift this And I'm just going to wet this round part of her face in, in here. And I'm going to bring this here very carefully to where I want it to be. Okay, so this first part, I just have to know that this part here is in the right place. Also have enough material to work with because all of this is going to go down her face, right? So I'm just going to fix this here. And now using my X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut around her cheeks here and down. Okay because this black part goes back here. And the same in the other side. I'm just going to move it. I'm gonna stop the camera because I'm gonna move it. Okay, it's easier for me to cut it from this side. I'm just going to bring this down. You have to have a sharp X-Acto knife. And now I'm going to wet this here a little bit bring this here okay good it's getting there it's getting there okay I'm gonna bring all this down blend it very well and just cut off all the excess and round it I'm bringing it down because the down part is the one that's gonna be on the body so nobody's gonna see that right 
make sure your seams and uh, your unions are in the part where nobody's going to see them. So I'm just gonna cut this with scissors. Okay, for her eyes, I'm just going to add two pieces of white sugar paste here to her eyes. They're not absolutely round. Oops, sorry. They're not absolutely round, but more like a like an oval shape. You can use a tool in order to, you know, go to every little corner and fix all the details. Okay, now I'm taking uh, a little bowl of black sugar paste. I'm cutting it in half so I have even, si even size of her eyes. Also, it's not going to be totally a circle. It's going to be more like, a, like an oval shape, right? I'm going to place it right here. The other one right here just adjust it so it will look good okay now she's nothing without her nose because right now she doesn't look like much once we put her nose up she's going to look very well so also not round a little bit oval and I'm going to put it this way Next thing are her lashes. Okay, so for the lashes, I just rolled out a big, uh, thin, but a big, big enough piece of uh, black sugar paste that I'm going to start with this lash here. Okay, and now I'm just going to go around her eye. Oops, sorry about that. These little pieces are hard. And I'm gonna cut it like around here. Just gonna do the top of her eye. And bring this down here. Okay. To just use this one because I don't want to cut the piece or damage it. Okay, and I'm also going to fix the curve of this lash. Okay, and now we're going to do the other side. lashes <clears throat> it's a little mini now I'm gonna uh, roll out very thin little pieces that I'm just gonna add in here she's a lady with big lashes I just press this back Just follow the movement of the other lash and you have at least two in there.
Just gonna bring it down a little bit. Oh, not too much. There you go. So we have Minnie with two lashes. Very good. Now we're going to do her mouth. Don't forget her mouth and her ears as well. So for her mouth, I'm gonna take a little bit, a little piece of black sugar paste and try to make sort of a triangular shape, something like this, or half a circle. I'm just gonna put it here. Press to the back, right? And then with a little bit of red, we're going to do or pink. I think I'm gonna use, I don't know, pink or red. We're gonna do her tongue. Okay, let me just bring this to all little corners that we need. There you go, let's do her tongue. So for the tongue, I just have a little piece of red sugar paste that I rolled out. Sort of also, uh, it's not a circle, it's sort of like an oval shape that I'm just pressing here. And with the Dresden tool, I'm going to bring it down here in the middle and it will be her tongue. And now we have to do the ears. Just fix her nose, let's do it. Okay, so now that we have her mouth and her face done, I already uh, rolled out a little piece of black sugar paste, but I left it a little bit thicker. And with a round cutter, first I measure that this is the size, because so I have this one, but I think this one is too big. I think this size is good for her ears. I'm just going to cut two of this. Okay. And now using a little piece of wire, I'm going to glue them to her. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark with the wire where I want those ears. One will be around here, and the other will be around uh, here. Because I want space for the bow. She needs to have a big bow. Okay, now I'm just going to introduce this and cut, uh, uh, leaving a little bit out because that's where I should have cut the other way. There you go. And I'm going to do the same in the other side. That is the good. This is the good thing about uh, having a um, styrofoam base. If you want to make it all edible, you can use a bowl of Rice Krispie treats. So that will be your topper will be all edible. Or you can use a styrofoam like I did if you want the topper to last. Uh, just gonna wet this here and place her ears. Okay, and now we have the two ears. I'm going to leave this mini to dry and to rest. Uh, and later we're going to be doing her body and the bow for her head and she's going to be looking very, very cute. <music>